Hello everyone, this is Akif and we're doing a quick video on what is IPv6 and what makes the transition possible from IPv4 to IPv6. IPv6 is a new addressing protocol. You can say that it is a successor of IPv4. Uh, we know IPv4 uh, is very promising. The 32-bit uh, 32-bit address we have uh, it is promising to some extent. But in the future, uh, we will uh, fall short of addresses. When you look at a 32-bit address, it means it means that it the addressing range will be of the size of two raised power 32 addresses, which is almost equal to four billion. But in coming times, uh, uh, people predict that there will be billions of devices on the internet, like 50 billion, some even say 100 billion, and some even go to uh, 200 billion. So these are the predictions that they make. And in that case, 4 billion is a very small number. And we have this new address, uh, which is IPv6, and it is a it is a 128-bit uh, address. So when you uh, look at the addressing range, it is two raised power 128 addresses, which is almost equal to 340 trillion 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 addresses. And if you want to get an idea about how big this number is, suppose we, uh, for the sake of an example, let's consider that the uh, let's consider that the total population of the world is 6.5 billion. Uh, and if we divide these addresses, which is two raised power 128 it will be equal to 52 trillion trillion IPv6 addresses uh, for each person. So you can imagine how big this number is and how big the range is. And uh, one more thing about it is that it's not something uh, which is going to get implemented in future. It is already implemented and some of the internet giants like Google has implemented it they implemented it in the year 2012 uh, if you think about IPv6 it's not backward compatible uh, so this means that we cannot shift to IPv6 overnight as I told you that uh, it was implemented by um, Google um, in the year 2012 uh, but still uh, everything is not on IPv6 so this will happen slowly and slowly this transition will happen slowly so the pragmatic approach is to uh, make these two versions uh, work side by side that is IPv4 and IPv6 uh, they both will work uh, side by side and how that is made possible is by uh, two techniques which is dual stack and another is tunneling so what is dual stack dual stack is that w where we have all these nodes and some nodes uh, they work on IPv4 and some work on IPv6 so in that case we have both these stacks they are all working all together now if you want to communicate with an IPv6 node then you will use the uh, stack of IPv6 and if you want to communicate with uh, the IPv4 node then you will use the IPv4 part of that uh, stack so you can see on the screen there is this diagram we have in a way amalgamated these uh, two uh, versions all together so if one node has to use IPv4 then it will use this part if it has to use IPv6 then it will use uh, uh, the IPv6 part and you can look at this figure here there are IPv4 and IPv6 uh, networks and when uh, they, dip, they communicate depending upon the part of uh, the stack they will be using now there is tunneling uh, in uh, 
tunneling what happens is that suppose two IPv6 nodes want to communicate with uh, one another but in between there is a router which works on IPv4 then what happens is that that these IPv6 uh, packets that come from the sending machine they are placed inside IPv4 packet and uh, uh, they travel through this router in this IPv4 packet and this IPv4 packet contains IPv6 packet and in that way it is sent to uh, another IPv6 or the destination machine. Uh, similarly if there is one IPv network that wants to communicate with another IPv4 network so sending machine is IPv4 uh, based and the receiving machine is IPv4 based but in between there is this transit network which is based on IPv6 uh, uh, pr protocol so in that case again IPv4 packet will be placed inside IPv6 packet and then sent to the destination machine so that way it is uh, uh, that way these two technologies are going hand in hand IPv4 and IPv6 they are going hand in hand so uh, it won't happen overnight and it wasn't possible to shift from IPv4 to IPv6 overnight however we had to go side by side uh, and it was made by uh, it was made possible by techniques like the tunneling and the dual stack so that was all thanks for watching